Hey everyone, it's DarkBungie151. Today I have an extremely exciting video for everyone today. Well, I'm excited about it. I hope you are as well because I'm talking about the cards that I have created um, as opposed to usually talking about Pokemon cards. So these are called Sebastian's Funky Friends cards um, that I'm making um, not only for my son, whose name is Sebastian, but for myself. Um, an idea I got because, you know, as a father, what if your son or daughter doesn't have any friends? You know, you'd hope that he would be accepted or she would be accepted as well. So, these are kind of just some funky friends that, um, with the, you know, the idea that no matter who you are or if, you know, you're funky or different in some way that everyone should accept you. So, that's kind of the thing behind my cards. Um, I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to read all the cards to you, but at any time you want to pause and go back and look at these cards um, and appreciate them just drop me a comment of which one's your favorite and why and that would be great um, or which ones resonate with you and why um, right now you're seeing one of the original cards CB um, this is a proof card that I did one of my first prints um, it says um, CB loves the sea tragically he was born next to a what does it say a, a mine in the desert he uses his imagination to hear the sounds of the sea what do you use your imagination for? So, basically it tries to teach kids that um, not everything is perfect and how do you overcome challenges um, like imagination and not everything is perfect. Interests, staying cool, speaking French, swimming pools, and dislikes, coffee, and sports. And a lot of these come after people I know. They're about people I know. Um, and CB means something, but... Um, like an inside joke, but it's really also uh, a cool name because he likes the sea, so he be by the sea, right? But actually he doesn't. Anyway, let's see what the back looks like. And of course this was just a print, so things change, colors change, you know, this and that. Um, I'm going to leave that there because I think it makes a cool backdrop. Maybe I'll move it over here. All right. And I'm going to show you the cards that I made and a little bit about them. Um, so, this is the first one, and you'll notice they're numbered in order. This is the Frog Prince. Um, just a little bit of information about this. Um, my nickname by, from my mom when I was young that I just found out is the Frog Prince, or Little Frog Prince. So, um, I think, maybe I made that up, I don't know. I think I just looked like a frog when I was a kid. So, um, you can read the card. It says, uh, uh, sometimes Sebastian is related to these items, sometimes not. And you'll notice there's no character. That is because this is one of the sticker cards that I intend to do. So I can show you um, an earlier print that I did of the frog prints. You can see how the cards have changed, the fonts changed, you know, things changed. So as uh, the cards have evolved. Um, so that's what the sticker will look like just in that atmosphere, right? Uh, same goes for the second one. The second one is my wife, Zinnia. Um, her name is not Zinnia, but um, it's, you know, kind of about her. And these would be the stickers, okay? And the stickers change, the stickers look different, but that's what would be right there. So those are limited because stickers are limited. Um, so you'll see they'll say limited printing and likes and dislikes. Moving on, number three card, um, and I will not go over all of these. Uh, you can notice that I printed the yellow line. I did not run the print to the end, but Bug Chicken used to be so small that his friends thought he was a bug. Now he's a big, strong chicken. He always wanted to wants to fly in his plane. So this is because of um, a toy that my son had during his childhood, and kind of like my thoughts about him growing up and people growing up um if you're you know a run to pip squeak a small fry you know you're gonna grow up and be nice and big and strong and i think that could help kids identify with stuff like that there is cb uh, this is one that i like because it's about reading it says miss pippins is happiest in her reading favorite reading corner what book is she reading no one really knows perhaps it's a mystery what is your favorite book so a lot of these questions a lot of these cards ask questions to the reader, to the person, to the player, to the collector, um, and you know, it's mysterious what book you're reading, maybe it'll pique kids' interest in reading again, so this is all part of the fight, you know, to uh, have kids uh, keep literacy and uh, be excited about things like that, imagination. 
Um, this is kind of a traditional one. This is one of my favorite ones, Azulia. Um, and I liked it so much that I made a, a special version of it with some cool uh, different uh, things. So if you want to read it, let me, uh, just stop it. This is Skylark the Sky Crow, or the Scarecrow, who uh, wants to be scary, but bir birds love her. So it's kind of a funny one. Just pause it if you want to read it. Calypso, again, one of my original, one of my favorites. Kevy. The Golden Cat. Uh, this is a special one for me because everyone has not you know, most people have an animal that they miss. It says, the Golden Cat represents a special pet that you have loved and has passed away. What are some special memories you have with your favorite pet? So again, that's tapping into emotional, um, you know, emotional whatever. I don't have the words ready, but trying to make kids aware of their emotions and try to overcome it, right? Um, so many kids have anxiety, just like adults nowadays. Um, you know, coming to terms with things like that I think is helpful in some tangible way like a card. Um, Perdue is actually friends with Pangea. Um, so if you want to read those, they complement each other. We have Sweet Two Shivers, one of my favorite looking cards. I don't know if, maybe that title will change by the end. Um, but it's beautiful as is in my opinion. Daniel Cappuccino is uh, based on one of my ex-students who I'm still friends with. Um, and, you know, he's such a cool guy. I say, what do you do that is cool? Because Daniel Cappuccino sounds cool, is cool, he looks cool. Just a great card to have. Allie, read about her. We have Libby. We have Enrique. This is a good one because it's not, uh, Enrique's birthday is not today. So it says something like, you know, not every day is your day. And, you know, you can do something that's exciting um, and make it worthwhile even if it's not your day. Jaffe, Bale, Tag. These two cards actually go together. The Monsters of Doodleville create art. For their um, for their friends to make them feel better, and Sondra is traveling to see them because he's having a bad day. So what do you do? You um, you know, he loves to travel. And so he's gonna go see his friends to try to um, see if they can make him feel better. Monsters of Dudaville is a uh, sticker card as well. Mortimer, or more timer is the joke I have with some of my students. More timer, just a silly way of saying it. Champion of Chum Town is one of my favorite cards. It's um, encouraging kids to do something. Uh, against wrongdoers to try to help them. It says sometimes the wrongdoers just need a friend. Um, what do you do when you see bullying or uh, someone who needs help? So that's kind of a cool one to me. Buzz is a favorite. I think it looks really good too. I think he needs a white glow background around him. Um, so I might do that for a final for a final print run, but that's a fan favorite right there. And that white glow background, you'll see just that little subtle white white glow brings it back from the background. This is CB, but also a second um, second version of him listening to music, because I know a lot of people are soothed by music. Um, these ones are cool to me. Bloomtown Bike Park and Bloomtown Cafe um, get kids out, um, kind of like understanding what adults do too, and uh, helping them to relax and chat with their friends. Something that's not on their phone, and you know, really the purpose of this is to get kids off their phone. Bandito Will is one of my um, original cards. This is not going to make the cut, but I um, created this card um, based on Will, a good friend who, who, with whom I traveled to Costa Rica. And um, this is not... Uh, he, he is interested in dragon snacks and salsa dancing um, and dislikes his heights, but he did not steal food off of the beach, but uh, that's based on a uh, animal that actually did steal food off the beach while we were in Costa Rica. So that's kind of just an inside joke, funny card. Farmers of Z-Town, I love this card and the stickers that go along with it, but I forgot to print that little border. Not that anyone really knows, but this is about teaching kids uh, to work hard. So you'll have, so you can accomplish something and then you have time to rest, right? So we have Cat Spookington, which is a really good one. I forgot to extend the brown border to the edge but I love this one as well. It's one of my favorite artworks. So this is 
really near the top. Um, this is a recent one I did. You'll see it kind of looks different. It says Banya and the Very Long Walk. Banya is walking to see Bale by the sea. It seems like his new friend Luxus has a lot to say. Maybe having a friend for a very long for a long journey is, is a good thing. Even if she is extremely chatty. So like, I don't know. It's just kind of funny. It's more like maybe geared toward an adult way of thinking about things. But um, Luxus is talking about all of her thoughts up here. Uh, so I just like that card. So this is the last one. This is a reprint of Bug Chicken except for I'm going through trying to think about um, instead of having their likes and dislikes here, um, having the bio and then be part of a game, um, push and pull, like um, push meaning how far the character moves forward and pull how far they move backwards and some have a special ability. So anyway, you'd need to know the rules and stuff like that, but it was a game I'm coming up with. So. Um, let me know what you think about these cards. I put my heart and soul into them for a couple years now, and I plan to keep going. So let me know what you think. Thanks for chiming in. Thanks for checking in. Darkbenji151.